I just changed oil in my Silverado, so we'll cut this filter apart, see if everything's cool on the inside of the engine, and then while we're at it, I'll show you why I use this brand of filter versus another popular brand on the market. So let's get started. So I've done a video in the past on how this tool works and cutting apart an oil filter when we did the GMC pickup. And this is my daily driver, Silverado, and I do this every single time I, I change the oil just to make sure there's nothing nasty on the inside or there's anything that I need to be worried about. But it's always clean and there's really nothing to worry about. But certainly this tool is a big part of the maintenance on all my vehicles. Everyone gets cut apart every single time I change the oil. Just simply because if there is something going wrong on the, in, on the inside of the engine with the bearings, material that's gotten in there, I want to know about it sooner than later. That way I can make the changes. But this Wix filter is a very, very nice filter, and I'm going to show you it compared to another brand of filter. And it, uh, the little details will become obvious as we start to cut both of them apart. Now, these Wix brand filters are really, really nice, and I use the HP version on, well, like I said, just about everything. They've got a nice, big, heavy duty base plate on it the drain back anti-drain back valve is really nice i've never seen it warp or distort and what i really like is just the 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 steel construction of everything in here the the, the coil spring on the bottom you know the housing the filter element these nice end caps that are on their stamp steel caps uh, the inside is a you know really nice you know synthetic media and just it feels solid everything about this feels right it's just nice and heavy duty the pleats are nice and tight they're not loose um, you know like I said the end caps are very very nice it keeps everything well contained and it's just it, the feel of this filter has always been very very good and certainly all of the Wix branded stuff is certainly very very high quality and the XP is just the the upgraded version to it all so Again, we'll just do a real basic inspection here. Just make sure there's nothing cruddy or nasty on the inside of this filter. And everything's looking pretty good. It's about what it normally looks like. Nothing, nothing gnarly in here that I need to worry about. Now here's a quick peek at the bypass valve and how it's nice encased in that stamp steel end cap. Really, really nice, self-contained. No plastic pieces in there. Just a very nice all metal construction beautifully put together and assuming that it does its job well so now that we've cut apart that wix filter i want to show you the fram filter that's a little bit cheaper and see how the construction is on this one now this is a brand new fram filter out of the box right off the shelf at the auto parts store and we're going to cut this one apart and compare the construction of the two and then we're going to actually weigh so the, some of the components to see how they they measure up Here's a really interesting thing about this Fram filter. As soon as I started to cut this thing up or attempt to, the case crushed. The filter housing, the outside housing crushed with just a small amount of weight on the wheel to try to start the cutting tool on it. That's not a really good sign to start out with. The Wix filter, very, very durable, very, very sturdy. The Fram is certainly a lighter material, and it took a little bit more effort to cut this thing apart. And as you can kind of see, this the case is, is denting itself. You know, it is not easy to cut this thing apart. It, it's I, I'm having to adjust the wheel quite a bit. It is not rolling on the rollers very easy. Again, this the filter housing is certainly a far less quality than what we're used to with the Wix filter. And we'll see if it looks like, you know, anything's different on the inside. But certainly this this case and the housing is not up to standard. It, it's not where, not what I would want it to be. There's certainly other issues that could, could happen here. But, you know, once we get this thing hacked apart, it's pretty much the same type of components in there. You've got a heavy-duty base plate. You've got a drain back valve. You've got a filter media that's on the inside, and then you've got some sort of, you know, contraption at the bottom for the, the drain back valve. This one's a little interesting in that it's plastic. Now, the one in the Wix one is, is part of the filter element. It's not a separate piece like this one is, and it's just 
cheap. Um, it probably works well, but I don't know how long it'll work. The filter media is very interesting. The end caps on here are cardboard. They are not like the stamp steel version of the Wix. And again, after these are used for a while, and we saw this in the filter on the GMC truck, the cardboard gets a little spongy, a little a little gross. It doesn't really start to break apart, but I can see if you ran this thing too long how it could start to, to break itself apart and God only knows where it's going to end up there. The Actually, the base plate on this thing is fairly heavy and, and not really that too bad. Uh, but that housing is certainly a concern with this filter. Now I'm going to take a couple of the components here and I want to weigh them. First is going to be the base plates. Let's see if these the heavy-duty base plates, let's see the weight comparison between the two with the gasket, everything else uh, the same between the two, nothing different, and see what the weight measurements are between the two. The other one is I want to measure the filter housing, the case, the canister, whatever you want to call it, and see if there's a, a weight difference between the two. Is one heavier than the other? We can't really measure the gauge of the steel very easily, but we can certainly weigh them and see if there's a difference between the two. Now I'll lay these filters out side by side here, and let's just do a comparison of everything. The weights on the canister between the Fram and the Wix are fairly close, but the, the Fram canister is certainly much lighter, much thinner. The base plate isn't near as heavy. Now, that is a heavy base plate that is on the, on the Fram filter, but the Wix one is certainly much beefier. Now, let's talk about the drain back valve. I think this is kind of a push. They are they both do the, the same type of job. They shouldn't be that big of an issue. Now the bypass valve. The bypass valve on this Fram filter is a plastic, separately enclosed, separately done piece. The one within the wicks is self-contained within the filter element, and I it's it's all steel construction. So I think the bypass valve has to go to the wicks. It's certainly the, the better bypass between the two. Now the filter media. This cardboard ends on the wicks or the Fram filter. I get it. I understand. That's probably a cheaper way to do it. It cuts the manufacturing cost down. You're not using steel. The paper element or or whatever that element is on the inside. It seems okay. The the interior, the center tube, um, seems a little cheap. Now on the Wix, it's the exact opposite. Those heavy duty stamp steel or stamped ends certainly are much more beefy, and certainly the filter media hands down goes to the Wix. You know, you just compare these two things side by side, and and. I don't even know a good comparison. I'm trying to think of a, a smart aleck comment here to make, and I really can't. The Fram is just so far, not even in the same ballpark as the Wix XP. It's just not a very good element. It may filter okay, but it is certainly extraordinarily cheap. Now let's talk about the end caps. Same situation. Those stamp steel end caps versus the cardboard ends on it certainly gives the advantage to the Wix filter. Now lastly here, let's talk about the price. At the time I shot this video, the Fram filter was $8.99. The Wix XP was $12.99. Now, I've always gone by the adage, the, the age old adage that you get what you pay for. And certainly that, that holds true here as well. The Fram filter versus this Wix XP there is not even a comparison between any of it other than the drain back valve, if you want to call that a wash. But even at the more expensive price, you get what you pay for. The Wix XP, hands down, is the better filter. There is no contest between any of it. The Wix is easily, in every way, better than that cardboard filtered end capped anti-drain back valve or anti-bypass valve just horrible on the Fram filter. I, I guess in a, a pinch in an emergency situation you could use one but this is by far I mean it's just I know we've 
people have talked about this before and I certainly did the Fram filter on took it apart on the on the GMC and, and certainly made comment about the horrible, you know, way that that thing was put together. But but it is certainly the cheapest filter I have ever seen. These cardboard end caps just you can break them apart. It's just there's nothing good about it. So I hate to beat on the brand, but certainly if you are going to make the decision of what needs to protect your engine, whether it's a very inexpensive Fram filter or spending a few more dollars on the Wix XP, my money every single time goes to the XP. And that's why I continue to use it on all of my project vehicles and on my daily driver. So what did we learn here today? Well, again, this is just my opinion, but certainly if I'm going to put together a very expensive engine or keep my daily driver going down the road, I'm going to use the best engine oil, the best other fluids I can use, and certainly the oil filter is a big part of that equation, and that's the reason why I use the XP. That should be a pretty good indication in tearing this thing apart, what the insides look like, and why that XP is just the far better filter. If you've got any questions about this video, please don't hesitate. Leave them down below. If you got anything out of the video, please give me a thumbs up. I do always appreciate that, and we'll catch you on the next one.